All right, so e4, e5, another Vienna game, another Max Lange defense. Don't forget now, Max Lange. Everybody's familiar with the Max Lange attack in the Italian. This is Max Lange defense. Bishop c4, bishop c5, queen g4. Queen g4 in this opening. Queen f6. And knight to d5. Now notice queen f6 super attacks the f2 pawn. There's no queen here, so there's no threat of a scholar's checkmate. But the same idea is in play. Well, Jacques Mises, and by the way, this is known as the Meitner Mises Gambit because um, uh, Meitner also, he was a top Austrian player in the 19th century. And Meitner, Philippe Meitner, was a practitioner of this line as well. Now, Meitner and Mises never played himself. Uh, never played himself. Meitner and Mises never played each other. But um, Meitner did play against Mises' uncle. There's, there's a game... Um, his uncle was a chess player. I'm trying to think of his uncle's first name. It's like Samuel or something like that. Let me find out. Uh, Meitner has played against A. Mises, but not Jacques Mises. Uh, what was Sam? Uh, no, not Samuel. Who was it? I'll tell you right here. Meitner. It's called the Meitner Mises Gambit. Samuel Mises. Samuel Mises. <coughs> <coughs> And Samuel Mises was also a chess master. Meitner did play Samuel Mises, the uncle of Jacques Mises. But anyway, it's called the Meitner Mises Gambit because both Meitner and Mises were practitioners of this line. And he's giving up this pawn here on F2. Very bold move. Not measles. <laughs> Did measles have the measles? You remember that cartoon where the cat said, I hate measles to pieces. <laughs> what was that cartoon called? It was a cartoon. It wasn't Tom and Jerry, I don't think. I don't remember what the cartoon was, but it was a cat and mouse cartoon, one of the several. And the cat's catchphrase was, I hate Mises to pieces. King F8. Really peculiar opening here. King F8. Is, is that really the move? It's very peculiar. Okay. I guess the only thing to do is to protect this pawn. <laughs> Pixie and Dixie and Mr. Jinx, says Blaze Winterborn. Yeah, I don't think it was Tom and Jerry. <clears throat> Crying Dove has a tournament tonight. Nice. Over the board tournament. Grandmasters seems to seem to hate to push pawns observes chess and onions and the thing to remember you know once you move a pawn it's it's permanent you can never take it back knight h3 very curious looking line queen d4 pawn to d3 okay Bishop to, I mean, pawn to d6 opens for the bishop. Queen, now queen to g3. 
is played a couple times as well. But queen to h4. <clears throat> it's, it is Pixie and Dixie. Tunda Mike has confirmed Blaze Winterborn's suggestion that I Hates Mises to Pieces was the line by Mr. Jinx, I guess. Is Mr. Jinx the cat? <clears throat> and Pixie and Dixie were the mice, I gather. Queen takes A3. And this is, believe it or not, this is the first unique position in the database. Now... I don't know. The other move in the database from this position was bishop b6. But neither of those moves seem very good to me. I mean, bishop b6 can't be good. Bishop b6 cannot be good. You have an undeveloped knight. There's so many things going on here. That game goes rook f1, knight g e7, queen d7. I mean, this is just horrific. That's how the game with bishop b6 continued. He resigned here. Because you see, the knight covers g6 and g8. The bishop covers g7 and f8. The queen covers e6 and e8. So the only two ways out of this check are either to move your pawn, and then you have a discovered check, followed by... Queen g7, king h5, knight takes, king h4, and take your pick of checkmates. <laughs> well, let's use the bishop since it's the least valuable. All right. But in this game, he played <clears throat> Chagorin, Mikhail Chagorin. Don't forget, Mikhail Chagorin was probably number one in the world at one point. <clears throat> he played knight a5. I don't, I don't think that's any better. You, you still have rook f1. But I don't see, I mean, I don't see what white can play here. Well, you can stop rook f1, I suppose, by keeping the queen on f2. But... I mean, white really has a lot of initiative here. So, knight a5, rook f1, knight takes bishop, totally ignoring white's threats. Queen, d7, threatening a magic square checkmate. f6, knight takes f6, and as you can see here, crying dove, at king's bishop, will you a way, will you have a way to display the move count? Yeah, we can figure that out. <clears throat> I'll figure something out for that, sure enough. Chagorin played queen f2 and sacked his queen. But here he just resigned. As you can see, I mean, it's just overwhelming. And you've got this threat of a fork here. 
I mean, even if you bring your knight out, if you block knight e7, then you're super attacking. And if you try to defend rook here, now you t finally t recapture this knight. And it's a queen, a rook, and two miners against two rooks and two miners. So, Chagorin resigned here.